Hi guys, so today's video is on using X-Gel as a builder gel. We've been asked about this video lots of times, so we thought we would show you. I hope you enjoy. So first we're going to sanitise our hands. We're going to use our delicious new tropical juice sanitizer for this. It's always important to make sure you upkeep hygiene whenever you're doing any nail treatments. We also always recommend wearing gloves as well. This helps reduce the risk of allergies to nail techs. Now we're going to go in and start our prep. For this, I'm going to be using my sanding band with my e-file to begin with. Once I've prepped all the nail plates with my sanding band, I'm going to go in and start my cuticle prep. I'm going to start with my flame bit to begin with. Next up, I'm going to continue my fusel prep with my ceramic bit. And for the last part of my eval prep, I'm going to go in with a barrel bit and just take off any dead skin over the cuticles. Once I've completed my eval prep, I like to go in with my nippers and just nip off any excess cuticle areas. I always find that a hybrid prep style tends to get the best results. Before we get started with our X-Gel application, we want to go in and shape the nail, so tidying up the free edges as we go with a nail file. You can use a 180 or 240 grit file for this, whatever is your preference. Once we have prepped the nails, we are going to go in with the RX Prime. We're going to prime the nails in the same manner as we would if we were applying a full set of extensions, making sure we fully cover the nail, but we don't want to use excess product. Once the nails are all prepped and primed, it's time to go in with our X-Gel. My preferred method of application for a builder type gel is to first apply a thin layer of X-Gel to all the nails, acting as a kind of base coat. Once your base coat of X-Gel has been applied to all nails, you want to cure it for 60 seconds under your UV or LED lamp. 
Once you've applied your base layer of X-Gel, it's time to go in and apply your main layer. For this, I am going to use a separate brush. This is just my personal preference. You can use the brush that also comes in the bottle. I am using a brush from the Afterglow by Carmen collection and it is the 3D brush. I'm going to apply a blob at the base of the nail and then I'm going to slowly work it up to the free edge. Between each finger, I like to flash cure each nail for five seconds or so to ensure that the gel does not run over the sides. I like to use my x light for this purpose. Once you've applied the gel to all of the nails, you are then going to pop the hand back in your UV or LED light for another 60 seconds. Once the gel has been cured for 60 seconds, you're now ready to go in and paint. If you're not very confident with your builder application, you can also refine the product to create a smooth finish at this point. For this, you would want to use a high grit nail file or a buffer. To paint these nails today, I am using one of the Hona Spring Collection detail paints. Now time for a quick tidy up before we apply our all important cuticle oil today in cherry cola scent. We really hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up guys. See you next time.